This video covers dummy variables in panel data. My name is Ngozi Adeleye, your facilitator. The learning objectives and expected transformations are shown on the screen. Incorporating qualitative information, application of dummy variables to quantify qualitative information. I will be showing you different cases of dummy variables in econometric analysis. And as we proceed, the results will be interpreted. The expected transformations will be for students and researchers to have more improved skills in deploying stata and e-views for all their analysis. You will also be able to improve your models, either in your manuscript or thesis or projects, when you incorporate dummy variables. It is expected that you will be able to independently analyze and also interpret your results and also push your manuscripts to be published in high impact journals. Before I begin the analysis, it is important that I walk you through the variables to be used. GDP is a dependent variable and there are four independent variables, labor, trade, mobile phones, and fixed telephone subscription. Three dummy variables will be used throughout this tutorial, countries, region, and years. So let us have a feel of the Excel data. This is the data that will be used. There are 54 countries in this panel. Algeria is the first country, and Zimbabwe is the 54th country. I have actually used this data to produce two manuscripts that were published in high impact journals. Each country has 11 years data, 2005 to 2015, and these are the variables I spelled out earlier. I also categorized um, the, the countries into five regions, North Africa, Central Africa, Southern Africa, West Africa, and East Africa as applicable to each country. In furtherance to data preparation, we are going to categorize the qualitative variables, just like I showed you the regions and the countries. Also, you may need to transform your variables where necessary. It is also important to create identifiers, IDs. Stata recognizes identifiers, okay? And we are also going to create dummy variables for the cross-sections. The cross-sections being the countries in this case. We are also going to create year dummies to capture time variations in the panel. And some of these adjustments will have to be done in Excel. So before we proceed to Stata or eViews, I'm going to show you some of the things that need to be done within the Excel interface. So now let us go back to Excel. The first thing we need to do is to create country identifiers. To the best of my knowledge, Stata will not execute if you don't have country identifiers for your panel data because that is what Stata recognizes, okay? So for the countries, I'm going to right click and click on insert for me to have a new column, which I'm going to call C underscore ID. So now I want to create identifier for each country. So starting with Algeria, I put one. But let me say this, make sure you have sorted your countries alphabetically, okay? Because that is what will make sense. Make sure you have sorted the countries or whatever you are using as your cross-section, maybe number of schools, number of firms, number of countries, number of companies, number of um, books, or whatever may be your cross-section or in your own study. Make sure, first of all, you sort alphabetically. So in this case, Algeria is number one because it takes A, which is the alphabet, then followed just like that to Zimbabwe, as in Z. Okay, so now Algeria takes number one. Let me put this on the center. So now I'm going to write some instructions for Excel to do the numbering automatically for me because I do not want to make any mistake. So I click on cell A3 and I write out this command, equals if, open the bracket. So if Algeria in cell B3, as you can see, B3 is indicated, equals Algeria in cell B2. I put a comma. I'm instructing Excel to assign number one, which is A2. I put another comma. And I tell Excel, assign the next number if 
Algeria does not tally with Algeria, which is A2 plus 1, as you can see. So this is the instruction. If Algeria equals Algeria, assign number 1. Otherwise, assign number 2. I press Enter key. And you can see 1 is assigned to A3 because that is Algeria. Same thing with the Algeria in cell uh, B2. Okay. So I move my mouse here to the edge. You can see it has changed to a plus sign. I double tap. And all the numbers are done automatically. If you can see, control end, 54 is assigned to Zimbabwe, which is correct. I have 54 countries in this study. If you do it this way, instead of generating these numbers manually, the likelihood of committing error is removed. Okay, so always allow Excel to generate the number for you. Another thing I need to point out is that if you click on any of these numbers, you will see the formula appearing here. Stata will not recognize this if you load your data directly like this into Stata. It will generate errors for you. So we need to remove this formatting. So how do we do that? I highlight the entire column. I click on this copy icon. I copy. I maneuver to paste. I open this drop down. I come to one, two, three. I click on it. And if you click back here, you can see that the numbering, the formatting is all gone. So it's as if I manually imputed this number. This is what Stata wants. So we have to give Stata what it wants. So this is better. This is perfect. Make sure you save your work to take in the new modification. Next, I need to create region IDs because I'll be using region dummies in this analysis. Again, before I create region dummies, I have to sort the regions alphabetically. So I highlight the entire worksheet. I go to sort and filter. I click on custom sort. I sort by region now, okay? I click okay. So you can see that the regions have been sorted alphabetically from Central Africa to East Africa. Next up is um, North Africa, followed by Southern Africa, and finally by West Africa. So this is fine. This is what I want. So now I need to create, similar to what I did for the countries, I'm creating a new column, which I'm going to call R denoting region r underscore id meaning i want to create ids for each of the regions so i'm going to deploy the same code i assign one to central africa and i tell excel to do the same thing equals if open the bracket if ca central africa equals ca that is e2 cell e2 i'm telling excel to assign d2 but if they are not the same, assign D2 plus 1, okay? So make sure you get the code correctly. I move my mouse to the corner. It has changed to a plus sign. I double tap my mouse, and I have the numbering done correctly. So countries in Central Africa coded 1, countries in Eastern Africa coded 2, and up to West Africa coded 5. Highlight the entire um, RID. Go to Copy, Maneuver to Paste. Click on paste values one, two, three, this first one, so as to remove the formatting. Remember, this is what Stata wants, and we have to give Stata what it wants. Okay, so all the formatting are gone as if I manually did this. So now let us remember to sort by country again. So go back to sort and filter, maneuver to custom sort. Now change region to, to CID. You can either use country or CID, you'll get the same thing. But to be on the safer side, let us sort by CID and we click OK. So let's look at what we've done. Algeria is coded 1 because it's the first country alphabetically aligned. But under the region, because it's a North African country, Algeria is coded 3. Let us look at Angola. Angola is number 2 on the list of countries, but because it is a Central African country, it is coded one under Central Africa. So these are the ways by which you can assign identifiers to your categorical variable. Remember, country is a categorical variable because it has 54 categories. There are 54 countries under it. Region is also a categorical variable because it has five categories under it. It has five regions. So I've taken time to go through what you need to do in Excel before you import uh, the Excel sheet into either Stata or eViews, depending on the interface that you are going to use to execute your analysis. 
So the next preparation will be done in their respective um, stata interface and e-views interface as applicable. But for the most part, I'll be working uh, throughout on stata because some of the dummy variable generation will be done using stata. I do not know the codes to get them done in e-views. So if you do know those codes, fine, you can use them in e-views. But if you don't, I want to say that this will be an opportunity for you to learn Stata so that you can incorporate the flexibility that Stata brings into panel analysis. Thank you so much for watching. I have just covered our dummy variables estimations in panel data where I showed you how you can prepare your data before analysis. I am interested in your feedback. Kindly leave them in the comments section below. And please refer your friends, colleagues, and institutions to enroll into the Crunch Econometrics paper series.